It's great to be with you today again on this broadcast, and we thank you so much for tuning in, all of you that listen to what I say. I want to talk about uh, Psalms 34 today, and uh, in verse number one, it says, I will bless the Lord at all times. That means we will be blessing the Lord all the time that we live. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be continuously in my mouth. And then it goes on to say in verse number two, my soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. And then it goes on to say, oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Our heart should always be filled with praise. We should always be blessing the Lord at all times. We should always be thankful for what he has done. I know there's a lot of things going on in our country today that is not good. It's a sad day in our, our environment today that there's so much uh, things going on that, that is very deceptive and, and uh, we just have to pray for our country. But we have to continue to remember that God is in control of everything and we should praise the Lord regardless of our situation. Uh, praise, praise will bring you through a lot of difficulty. It's a lot better than depression. It's a lot better than fear. When you feel discouraged and don't know where to turn to, just praise the Lord. Just bless him and praise him because he's done so many things for you. He feeds you every day. I was eating lunch today at a restaurant and I was thanking God for the nice meal we had. And as I was praying, I said, Lord, bless the people that don't have food today. And it doesn't mean I'm better than anyone else, but I thank God for all those around the world that are suffering. And my prayer is that God will help you during these difficult times and give you the desires of your heart. That's what the Bible says in Psalms 37, 4, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Oh, that is a great promise we found in the word of God. I want to continue and say in verse number four, of the 34th chapter of Psalms, I sought the Lord and he heard me. You know, God always does hear us if we will call up on him in prayer. And he delivered me from all of my fears. You know, there's a lot of fears going on today. The virus being spread, people are just seem to be frightened, uh, almost at the point of panic in some situations. Let me tell you, God is still in control of this. You know, the Bible says we have a healer. He is our healer, and if we do happen to come down with something, we can pray and he will help us. But you know, having fear is worse than what we go through. So we need to stay under control, stay in prayer with God, stay on our faces before God. Ask him to give us, oh God, a body visitation, a revival in this nation, and give us a wonderful outpouring of his Holy Spirit. Uh, that the angel of the Lord encamps around them that fear him and delivereth them in verse number seven. That's a wonderful scripture. And I thank the Lord. And it goes on to say, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is a man that trusts in the Lord. And then he says, Oh, fear ye Lord, ye saints. We need to have the fear of the Lord burning in our soul every day. And that's respect profound respect for the things of God. We don't need to be taking the Lord's name in vain because that will get you in a lot of trouble. But we need to praise the Lord. The opposite of cursing is praising God with all of our heart and giving thanks to him for what he has done for us. And I appreciate all of you that listen to me today. And I want to continue to say the eyes of the Lord are up on the righteous now. And uh, he's all, he's, his ears are open to their cry. He is always listening to us. He'll never let go of your hand. Uh, the gold Bible goes on to say in verse 18, The Lord is nigh unto them that are a broken heart and save as such of a contrite spirit. Hey, the Lord is, um, wants us to humble ourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he will lift us up. He, he has a wonderful desire when we've got a broken heart and concern for the lost people around us. Boy, it's sad people are roaming the street today. They need Jesus today more than anything else. God, help us to have a mighty revival. I appreciate you listening today, and may God bless you today. Bless the Lord at all times, and his praise should always be continually in your mouth. God bless. Good amen.